Hey, everybody, Todd McFarland. Let's talk all things Flash movie, right? Coming out in June, but let's show you some of the cool stuff that's going to be in there. As all of you now know, there's going to be a reprisal of the Michael Keaton Batman from the classic Tim Burton movie. And so we've got a couple products that are going to be playing into that from the actual Flash movie here. One of them is obviously the big... Uh, Batmobile, and it come in a big box here. <laughs> it has a bottom, it has a middle, it has a top. It Real quick, before we get started, I'm going to need everyone who defended Haslow in their crowdfunding practices, everyone who said six to seven inch vehicles have to be crowdfunded nowadays, I'm going to need you guys to bring that ass here, boy. Also, wait a minute, I'm going to need everyone who said that the box for the Engine of Vengeance would be too big for retail, I'm going to need you guys also to bring that ass here, boy. And you guys way back there, yeah, you guys in the back that said it was 350 because the price of plastic has gone up come on son come on son come over here bro i'm gonna need you to bring that ass here boy what's going on guys articulated ninja here and now that everybody's here especially those that was in the back i've been silent comment down below if you was waiting for me to speak on this my subscribers are funny as shit the comments to my videos are funny you guys the comment section is just super entertaining leave a comment let me know down below how you guys feel while i explain how i feel about this batmobile look <laughs> 350 for that HasLab and one figure was so obviously not worth it that most people understood that and that's why it didn't happen. Now once again, for you know the people in the back, I say 350 and one figure because that's the base offering. Stop talking about four or five figures and that, that doesn't count. The price was 350 for one figure. You might not unlock all the rest. So the base offering, 350 for one figure. Now, I don't know how many people are gonna make tons of videos for this Batmobile and Batwing and I'm just making this one. I came across this post online. The Hasbros don't really do math. What's nine plus 10? 21. So once again, Oh, I said, okay, let me let me just give my thoughts on a scenario since it seems like a lot of other people's math really ain't mathing. So only going off of the base offering, which was one vehicle and a figure <laughs> on a repainted body, um, can't even give you guys an original sculpt on a crowdfunding project. You guys are paying for tooling and couldn't even get an all original sculpt. No, you got reuse there in the figures too. So that engine of greed was a nice looking vehicle, but let's be real. It had doors and it had a trunk. The Batmobile doesn't, but the HasLab was 18 inches. The Batmobile is 22 inches. Look, a standard Marvel Legends is like 30 bucks now, 27 to $30, whatever. So let's take $30 away from 350. Now we are then left with 320. Do y'all really believe that flickering lights as well as some opening doors and a trunk that opens make that car worth $320, that's 18 inches, while the Batmobile is 22 inches, and it's $60. Cause that's the, the big difference between these two vehicles. Now they both have a top, middle, and bottom. The Batmobile is actually a few inches bigger. So for the flickering lights and the flame effects, is that really worth all that extra money? We got some extra tires, you know, it, it, but is it? does it really make up that over $250 difference? No. Anyone being reasonable with collecting experience saw how silly that price was for that car. Some of you are just unreasonable Hasbro diehards and you believe and eat anything they give you. They tell you the price of plastic is so expensive now, but smaller companies with smaller MOQs isn't price hiking the way Hasbro is. McFarlane just proved that most companies including Hasbro, the biggest toy company in the world, does not need to crowdfund to bring six to seven inch vehicles into mass production. He didn't ask you guys to pay for tooling, he paid for it himself. Haslow got you paying for tooling for something that they should pay for themselves and they don't even give you an originally sculpted figure. All of the figures in a crowdfunding project should be originally sculpted figures. They do it for the MCU line, but they can't do it for a crowdfunding. They give you repaints with some new parts and you guys rush to defend them. Get it? Rush to defend. <laughs> oh man, I'm tired. I like Hasbro products. 
I wanted that car, but I'm not going to be okay with just blatantly getting ripped off like that. So when we take the price of the figure away, we got 320 versus 60. And then even if we say that the car is worth 60 as well, now we have what? 260. So if both vehicles were going to say they're 60, there's still a, a huge price difference of 260. And to me, those little effects and those little add-ons do not equal the price of $200. But you know what? Like I said, it has a trunk that opens. It has doors. It has. So that car definitely wouldn't be $60 as well. Even if McFarlane put it out, it, I think it would cost a little bit more because it's a little bit wider. Let's say that car cost $80. No, let's say that car cost $100 on its own. $100 on its own. $100 take away $320 is now $220. You're telling me that those flickering lights and those flame effect pieces cost $220? No. Stop, son come on come on what are you talking about bro that stuff does not cost over $200 make the car $120 now and leave the Batmobile at $60 you're telling me those effects still cost $200 and those flickering lights stop stop and once again sure this 22 inch Batmobile doesn't have doors and a trunk but for $60 I'll take it it's a way better overall value per dollar in my eyes at least actually I'm pretty sure if Haslo would have left out the flickering lights and the repainted figure and kept the trunk closed and dropped that price to around 120 or less that thing would have flew off the shelves as part of their rider series and you guys saying oh but the Batmobile looks like a toy cool I'm sure everyone would agree that if the HasLab car had a look more like a toy option for $60, everyone, including myself, would have backed it within the first three seconds that they saw it. Stop it. <laughs> Only difference is the Batmobile has a gloss paint. Man, for 60 bucks, I'll paint it matte black myself. That matte black finish is not worth $260, which is once again the difference in price. But now, even if we throw the Batwing into the equation, do I think that that thing could be less than $250? absolutely this batwing is taller than the haslab sentinel on its shortest side it's 27 inches long that sentinel is 26 inches long anybody that has it knows how long that thing is when they're holding it the width to this batwing is 35 inches galactus is haslab's biggest marvel legends at 32 inches in height and you can lay him across like lay him down across this thing and this batwing is still bigger with inches to spare. You can no longer blame the price of plastic. You can't say, oh, it's too big for retail when the 22 inch car will be at retail in a box. So the box is going to be bigger than 22 inches. So yeah, I don't think this Batwing should be $250. It should be more around $150. But regardless, the point is McFarlane did this without crowdfunding. I like Hasbro products. When they do it right, they really do it right. But you Hasbro defenders are just straight unreasonable at times. Let's see what the next vehicle will be that has low world crowdfund as a project we all know it's not next up is not going to be a vehicle they can't have two has labs fail back to back that is automatically going to spell the death of their line they are dreading that so it's not going to be a vehicle of course but eventually there'll still be a vehicle same with the gi joe line there'll still be a vehicle when it could be at retail mcfarlane just proved crowdfunding does not need to be a thing for a billion dollar company so has low and has low defenders they could blame the stock market they can blame the shareholders, they can blame whoever they want, but it doesn't change the fact that there is a clear greed problem over there. Once again, they're giving you Legends fans that rush to buy the figures less now than they have ever before at a higher price and you guys still defend them, still defend them in their decisions. This Batmobile is $60. Though it doesn't have as many unnecessary bells and whistles as that engine of greed, it's clearly still a way better deal because it's 60 bucks than that entire car was at $350 before tax and shipping. Let's keep it real. McFarlane just made a lot of people look silly. That's all he did. He made a lot of people look silly. And like I said, I enjoy Hasbro products as well too, but I, he still made a lot of people look silly. And I'm just watching the show, sharing my opinion, telling you guys what I see from my perspective. And I'm always willing to change my mind based on compelling evidence, but there ain't no good evidence on Haslow's side right now. Looking good. Almost done. And there, done. <gasps> what have you done? I painted the truth. I painted my truth. 
And that's all I'm doing, bro. I'm just painting my truth. And I think the majority see it that way too, considering that project did not come to life, that Haslow project. So I'm just painting my truth. Just chill out, bro. Chill out. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. Also, I got some DMs talking about our uh, Bratz plane. Look, you Hasbro defenders can redirect and deflect as much as you want to. Keep in mind, I said I do think that this Batwing can be less than 250. I think, honestly, if the Batmobile was 60, this thing should have been anywhere between 150 to 200 max. That's what I personally think. But it's funny how I'm watching these guys try to redirect and deflect. And so for me, at least, are you going to get comparisons to the Bratz plane? No, you're not, because this was not crowdfunded. That's the point. It just goes over these Hasbro defenders heads. The reason it was such a big deal is because it was crowdfunded. The price was astronomically ridiculous. And that's why it didn't get funded, because most people saw that. And then two, the base product couldn't even come with an originally sculpted figure. I swear, man, I never met men that redirect and deflect as much as women. They just continuously want to move the goalpost. Stop. Yo, yo, it's crazy. McFarlane proved that it doesn't need to be crowdfunded. Don't run from it. Don't don't try to redirect the deflect. And that's the point. Blame the shareholders. Blame the stock market. Blame whatever you want to blame. But at the end of the day, Hasbro's going to have to hold that L as well as their defenders. Because you really can't deflect or redirect your way out of this one, man. And I guess McFarlane also proved it's not the price of plastic that went up so bad but it's mainly just companies being greedy and a lot of the hasbro defenders wanting to be right so bad that they ignore what's right my disappointment is immeasurable but even if you want to throw away all the numbers throw away my estimates about what the what the car is worth sixty dollars a hundred dollars 120 dollars what the flame effects are worth throw that all away i was just thinking to myself and what? And this scenario just dawned on me. Let's say you walk into a store and they tell you you can get an 18 inch car with some flickering lights and some effect pieces and one repainted figure for $350 plus tax. And it's going to take a year or more to get to you. Or you can get a 22 inch Batmobile plus a 35 inch Batwing plane plus a 10 inch Bat cycle for less than the price of the car. And you will have it in three months. Which one is majority of people going to go with? three vehicles, two of them bigger for less than 350 or one vehicle for $350. Plus, you gotta wait a year. Come on, man. That's too easy. Yo, McFarlane really just dropped three vehicles. And even if you combine the price of all of them, it's still cheaper than that one Haslab car. <laughs>Stupid ninja, always making stupid sense with his stupid logic and his stupid facts. It's up to me to make legends great again. Keyboard warrior mode activated. If it made you feel better, I'm happy for you. You weird. G.I. Joe, classify Marvel Legends on my mind. Valiverse and Necca time. Mythic legends I must find. SH figure arts, I can't lie. Rebel tech got my pockets dry. Set action figures for life. Articulated ninja is nice, yeah. You might wanna subscribe. Action.